issues with breaking news for Dai Broadcast. Even though Shark Attack numbers are declining, there was a shark attack on a local beach. Cleo Clarkson got away without injury, but Kylie Mason was left without an arm. She has been in intensive care for the past three hours. They will both join us in an interview later on. Others, such as Lisa Mondi, have survived these kind of attacks. But only 15% of attacked people die from shark attacks, which means that more people are killed by coconuts than by sharks. New Zealand has only had 47 attacks so far, 8 fatal, but the last fatal attack was in 1968. That's all from me at Dio Broadcast. I'm here today with Annabelle Matthews and Veronica Mason, witnesses of the shark attack. How was this like for you? It was really scary. No, it wasn't scary, it was terrifying. How do you feel that your, that your sister's arm was lost? Well, it was kind of devastating, but it was kind of... I don't really know how to explain it. I'm here with Claire Claxon and Kylie Mason, who was unfortunate enough to lose an arm. Kylie, how was that like for you? I was so scared. I panicked even though I shouldn't have. In the hospital, Cleo researched about shark attacks. Cleo, what would you do differently next time? Well, not only did Kylie put her bleeding finger in the water and sharks can smell blood just under half a kilometre away in the water, but she was right. She did splash around a lot and that apparently attracts sharks as well. The other bit is, it probably would have been safer if Veronica and Annabelle were actually watching us instead of just it's looking at their magazine. Thank you on that for that insight on what really happened. That's all for me at Dia Broadcast. Good night.